Hello, it's Sarah, and that just seems really dark to me. I don't know why it got really dark. Anywho, I'm back for part two of the April art journal page. I was going to take a shower, but I can't because I'm on to something here. I'll go up in a minute. But I've actually sketched this out, the umbrella anyway, and I'm just going to show you what I've decided to do. I think, because this will fit on my page, it's bigger. So... My thought would be kind of on some sketch paper, make the size that you're going to need and then sketch out an umbrella shape that you like. I'm going to take this and put it over it and guess what you guys, it, I can see it through this Tim Holtz, oh, if you didn't watch part one, um, I collaged on here a piece of this in the background and then I covered it up with paint. I can't see any of it hardly. I can kind of see a couple alphabets right here, like right here, but that wasn't my intention. So, I mean, there's a little bit of words popping through. I have a hard time. I'm a heavy hand. So I decided to try and do my foreground pieces, my focal pieces with this, which I've never done before. So I'm pretty excited. And because it's a um, strong enough paper, It'll take the Mod Podge and the paint and stuff, and it won't pill and give us problems. That's my hope, anyway. So, let me see. I want to find a good piece here that um, here's the thing. Um, here's my handle. I can see this. I'm going to move it. I'm tipping it a little because I don't want too much blackness. I don't mind the, I guess that'll be okay. All right, I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I can see enough. Hmm. And I just really am being very, I'm not a realistic artist, you guys. So just have fun. <laughs> That's my, my biggest, if you don't want to draw it, find a um, collage paper that is, or, you know, something. I actually have a, a calendar. I thought about this. I have a calendar, and it had yellow boots and, um, like something else, and I, I could have just used that for my April Art Journal page, and it would have come out super cute. So use what you have. Don't stress, please. This is not supposed to be stressful, and so please don't. I won't use that, but I think I like it. I think, now on the other one, I have... The, the behind things, which I kind of like those too. Let me just put them on here and see if I end up using them. I don't know if I will, but I mean, they're kind of cute to have. I don't know if, you know, I'm not, like I said, a realistic painter. I like it though. Then I'm going to probably trace. He's a little big. I'm going to small, make them smaller because he... I'm yelling. I had coffee, and I'm very excited. I get excited. But yeah, he's got to be a little smaller. I'll probably end up tipping it up a little. But he's going to fit up here, kind of more centered. I'm going to cut this out first. That way we can really see what we're working with. And I'm just, these are Joanne scissors, and they're all, they're caked up, messed up, glued up. I am a mess, so... But they cut fine. I have the Cutter Bee scissors, which I love. Ow! Kiwi, she does not like scissors. Hey! Stop it. Get down. Alright, she cannot bite me. She, um, she just takes a little nip of my shoulder. Like, it's not horribly hard. Or, I mean, she's just tiny, but I noticed that she does not like scissors. And I clip her wings, so maybe that's why. You know, I use scissors. She does not like toe clippers, like toenail or fingernail clippers, because I have them in my little um, area where I sit, 
by the couch, like a nail file and stuff. And sometimes if it's out of the, I have a little box, a painted box. That, anyway, and she's on my knee. She'll jump off and um, don't and get it and like wrestle it and throw it around and chuck it on the ground. She does not like it. Um, now she's over harassing my my paint spinner. She's exploring my desk. All right, let's just go down. She has a little attitude. We call it, she has a little birdie attitude. That's what we say. So she gets all fluffed up and like, right? Struts back and forth and is like, you know, I'm a tough guy. I'm the boss. I'm in charge. She thinks she is anyway. Um, I'm hoping this works. I mean, like I said, I've never used this type of paper as my focal image collage paper. It's kind of bendy and foldy and harder to control. So I got to be careful when I'm collaging because it could stick to itself. Oops. Try not to over go over the line, Sarah. Um. But I think it's going to work. I think we're going to be in business. It's an interest, interesting, it's an interesting fabric or whatever. It's an interesting like type of paper. Because it's got like some strength to it. It's not like a tissue paper. It's more of a, I mean it's called tissue paper, but tissue paper can be very fiber like really fragile this has some strength to it so I'm hoping that is the case and once we add glue all right I'm really I'm just impatient I just want to see if it's gonna fit so I'm gonna put it it's it's a little bit at an angle but I want it to be up a little bit straighter so that my birdie can sit right here and he's going to be smaller because obviously perspective wise he wouldn't be a giant cardinal so I got to make him you know decently a little bit smaller probably have a cloud up here and then we'll do raindrops and then I'll have little flowers peeking in from the side all right so for my bird I just want to show you and then I'll go off camera and do it come on Kay all right I'm not cutting so she can don't bite me um basically I kept it really simple so you're just gonna I think if you start with the beak you'll have an easier time so make a little triangle and then another triangle so that's the beak then you go up and straight over and the eye is going to go right there and then his little face goes up like this so he has and this is black so he has this little black triangular pull up a um pull up an image on google of a, of a um, cardinal and you're just going to do it in a very simple fashion i like that he has this little kind of uh, mohawk right and then just go down and make a, a tummy so it's not realistic and let's make him cute and chubby you know so give him a crown and then just go straight down and we'll give him like a little you know and then his wing something like that so or, or it could just go like this I actually like it better like that but that's basically it um, I don't want it to be so like elaborate that everyone's panicking and freaking out so it could be it could even come over and down you know if, and just shape them however you want uh, but that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna find a, a cool piece of this paper that isn't you know too black or like I probably won't use this piece it has too many lines kinda I like this map a lot so I think he's gonna be right here on this part of the United States and Canada I think that's what he's gonna be so I'll have to use this as my guide for size so just to see what size I'm gonna do this has to get cut out more 
Kiwi, don't bite me. I gotta cut more. Um, and then we'll come back and paint. And I'm gonna use washes. So that's fantastic. I'm so happy. I don't have to, oh, excuse me, coffee. I don't have to um, base anything in. We're just gonna do it with washes and so when, when I come back, I'll have this glued on. And again, I'm just using Mod Podge. And I'll have my Cardinal right up here and probably a cloud. You could put a couple clouds. You could have a cloud kind of, you know, because if it's looking off in the distance, you could have a couple, you know. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just annoying. All right. And so I'll be back. This is a little long, but it looks proportionate to me. So I don't, I could actually even make this go off the page a little if I needed more room. I don't want to. I think I want it to be on the page. Yes. Maybe all the way up against the side so that the bird is going to be more toward the middle. No, I think I want to do it. All right. All that stuff is all personal preference and... So, all right, you guys, I'll be right back. All right, I'm applying the pieces, and I've just decided I'm going to, I put it down where I wanted it first, so I figured I'd turn on the camera, and then kind of put some Mod Podge underneath, and then I'm doing it this way, because it's just such a delicate piece of paper that um, it was what I thought would be best. Uh, to get it down where I wanted it. Instead of just putting Mod Podge all over the place and then trying to place it down, I put it, like I'll do, I'll show you. Um, here's my little cardinal. I did find out that it's difficult to erase this paper, so um, I didn't, um, let's see, I think I like them just like that. I like that. So I'm going to take the Mod Podge and then just, I'm holding it here, but I'll put it right here and then kind of push it down like that. And that way you have a better chance that it's going to go down where you want it. And you can always add more Mod Podge to the top of it. It gets a little wrinkly too, so kind of push it, push the wrinkles out as you go. See, that's from erasing, that dark mark there, that like graphite mark. But, all right, that went well. Now, a cloud isn't really going to fit the way I'd hoped. Um, I guess, I mean, if I put something, I didn't cut out a cloud yet, kind of up here. I could make like little clouds just in the background, um, but I'm still kind of pushing out some of the bubbles. I think that's going to happen because I didn't put Mod Podge everywhere underneath. It was only on a few places. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shade behind these so that you'll be able to see what I'm working with, but I think it's cute. I think it filled the page. Um, and I haven't done this before and it seems to have worked. So let's see if I can make a cloud out of this. Is that, should I have a hand? I could put a cloud right there. Let me see. I don't know. It's kind of big. Um, Kiwi, don't bite me. So I got my little scissors out. I just want to place it and see what it looks like. I think it's going to look good. It's just that it, it isn't proportionate, right? So the cloud has to kind of be part of the background, I guess, or it's going to look too weird. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I won't collage my clouds down. I'll just put little wispy white bits. All right, I know you're getting angry. She didn't bite me. But I could put this kind of here. 
because there's a big empty space there. But I could also put flowers, you know. I think it should go up here. I think I should put it here. It's going to look weird. Just proportion wise, I don't think I'm going to put it then. They should be tiny in the background, if anything. All right, it's driving me crazy because you guys can't see it. So I am going to shade using those same colors, um, Payne's Gray and Black Green. I'm going to shade around the objects and then you'll be able to see them. Oh, excuse me. All right. Uh, let's see. I already, I put the other paint. This is black green. And paint's gray. Then I'm going to put all these colors away and come back. I'm going to clean my water. Because it's kind of grungy now from all the ba background work I did. And I'm going to um, come back in and we're going to paint it. All right. So this is what? Is this black green? Yeah. I'm using my big half inch brush. It's, oh, it's closer to an inch. Let's go around the back. Uh, let me, I guess I should go in a little bit. But I don't, I come out of the shot. So if I come out of the shot, I apologize. I'm just going to go around. Oops. The umbrella. And just add some shading so that it looks like it's on the ground instead of just floating on top of the background. And I'm gonna, I think I might do this in orange, maybe yellow and orange. I don't know. So now you can see that. Oopsie, out of the shot. Uh, but that's all I needed there. Then I'm gonna do, I'll come up a little bit because I do come out of the shot. I'm sorry about that. This is called Payne's Gray. It's a blue, purpley, black, blue, I don't know, it's really pretty, and I love it for shading. I have, my brushes, I am such a heavy hand, so this is going to be dark, but I want it dark because I want to make this stuff pop. Put little feet too, but I didn't um, cut out any feet. I just left him. His feet are kind of tucked underneath. He's sitting down on the umbrella very comfortably. Um, if you are curious of how I'm loading my brush to get this, um, Loading the color and I do a lot of videos where I do detailed instructions on floating and I will again but I just want to get this done real quick and then when I'm doing the details I'll, I'll do a good float um, reminder for you um, of how I do it You always want the color up against, the color is up against the object and then the water goes the opposite way so that you get that, um, all right, you can see it now, can't you? I'm not sure, I don't know what I'm doing here. He better be beautiful, this guy. Uh, I think I need one little part right here with this Payne's Gray. Oh, 
Oh boy, that's dark. <laughs> I uh, can't help it. I have such a heavy hand. All right, cool. Cool beans. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to clear my desk and I'm going to put everything away and decide what colors I want to use to color this in. And then I'm also thinking about adding, like I said, I pulled some of these stamps and I did it previously, but I have these flower stamps and I think I do want to use these. I think these are from um, a Diane Reevely stamp set. I have a tiny one too that I'm looking for. It's just a similar drawing like this and I'll find it before um, I start stamping on the background because it's in here. Alright, so I may stamp a few of these and we'll add some leaves. But, you know, the thing is they wouldn't be in the sky necessarily, but I'm kind of picturing it as this is just a window. Yeah, I don't know. It's Sarah style, so it's not realistic, but I think a big couple of big flowers would be pretty. All right? So I'll be back with a cleared off desk and get ready to float. All right, I'm back, and I'm talking a little softly because it's nighttime. And I'm awake, so I'm painting. Um, I picked some colors. I undercoated the cardinal with white and letting that dry because I'm going to paint him red and I want it to, you know, that way we don't have to do too many coats of red. One coat of red should be fine. I'm going to put a little black out and paint his little face. Um, not crazy about not being able to put a cloud so that's bugging me a little and I'm not sure I thought about a couple different ways to fix it um, I also cut out flowers I was gonna put flowers but they're too big I think so I'm still let's just get some paint on here and see what he's looking like and then I'll be happier you know um, I picked pink and orange for the umbrella and I'm just going to put some of that out and washes. I'm really going to try and do this very lightly. Well, I think I'll use um, I think I'll use an angle brush and just do it very maybe I'll even float it. Let's see. So let's see I'm going to go pink pink. So, a lot of water on my brush because I want this to be light. It's not my middle name, but we'll try it. So I'm going to go darker up against the edges. I should really just do a sheer um, coat of paint instead of trying to Float it. I'm going to end up um, shading and highlighting like I always do to make it look, you know, dimensional. So that's pretty sheer. I can always blot it too. Um, and so I think I like that though. Let's see how this one comes out. I'm just pulling the color into the middle too and it's okay if it's blotchy. It's very sheer but we're going to shade and highlight. I'm going to shade and highlight with a darker color. I think I'll put pink there. I'm going to get a smaller brush. This little flat brush probably will be fine. It's a little eh. I don't love it. This one's good. Again, I just want it to be sheer, so I'm loading in watery. It's a watery puddle. Yeah, I just couldn't. 
I didn't want to go to sleep yet. So I figured I'd come and paint. And come down tomorrow and we'll do the shading probably. So the rest I'm going to do orange. Orange, orange, yeah. That'll be good. This is called Spiced Pumpkin. So it's not actually a really orangey orange. I don't have one. I don't have another one. This is kind of like a brownish orange. But I think it'll be good. And the reason I'm keeping it washy is because we have that Tim Holtz paper under there and I kind of didn't want to lose it like I did the background. So that was the plan. And so I'm just trying to keep this really sheer. I have a little extra part of my umbrella over here. It's like it's rolling on the ground, so you only see a little part of that. You could put polka dots on it. You could do whatever. That's the great part about it. And I'm just doing an idea and having fun and encouraging you guys to try it if you feel like it. All right, so that's there. Let's see what this red, I picked a uh, true red. I have country red, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna go on, I'll do the beak yellow, but I'm gonna go on all the, the whole body and then we'll differentiate it um, with shading. Like I'll put make sure the wing shows up and all that. Oh, this is a pretty red, but I don't think it's cardinal red. You know, I'll bet you there's a paint color called cardinal red. Some paint company somewhere definitely named a paint a red paint cardinal red. This looks a little bit, I don't know, it's too magenta. I don't think I love it. I think I want to try this country red. I don't love it. I'm being a little bit picky, but I can do that. It's my piece, right? It'll show up. I'm going to try the country red. It just looks a little darker. Yeah, I like that. It's a little more like an apple red. I'll, I'll highlight them too. I don't want to lose that undercoat, I mean the, the paper. I'm going to add water to my brush. And I feel like as I'm wetting him, the paper is, is getting a little wrinkle in it because I don't think I put my Podge underneath that area right there. Because the paper was so fragile, when I glued it down, I just, you know, you know what happened. I like this color though for him. See the wrinkles? I don't know that his hairdo is, he's got a real mohawk going there. And I'm gonna find some yellow. I'll use this cadmium yellow. The orange is actually looking kind of yellow. I don't know if their beaks are yellow actually. Wait a minute, now I'm thinking, I don't know if it's yellow, I don't have my phone in here. Well his is. And then, what color should I do the 
that could be a dark hmm I guess pink and orange I'll just stick with pink and orange so it's really just washy paint I'm not doing it opaque It's raining, so I gotta go food shopping tomorrow. I hope it stops raining tomorrow. And I'll do this part orange. I don't know why. I'm just picking these colors and see what happens. So that's basically it. And then I thought I would do, I'm going to use my new rigger and some asphaltum and I got a question about what is asphaltum and it's just a color a brown color by Americana asphaltum it's like a brownish black and I think I'm gonna take it because I just don't like the emptiness around the page and I'm gonna use my rigor and just make some branches kinda coming in from the side I don't know if that looks cool or not I was gonna do a cloud and I think I should still do clouds but this just kinda makes it like there's a tree nearby or something I don't know it turns out I might not really love this at all. This page, it's kind of not coming together as I thought. But you know, when I, once I start making leaves on here, it could turn out really cool. And I'm just twisting. I'm like, put it down, pick it up, kind of twist and turn and pull. And it just makes little branchy looking things. So that looks whatever. I guess I should do some down here too. Mm. All right. I'm going to. Let's put the leaves on because I just feel like if, if these don't make something change for me, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to use dark forest green, although I don't think I use that at all, but I'm going to use that and the citron. And I'm going to brush mix and use one of my new filberts. A filbert brush is a, um, it has like a rounded tip. It's a flat brush with a rounded tip. So I want to use my new filbert. Let's see if this is it. Nope. Uh, that's not it. I have a big one and I have this one. So I have this one is like a number six and this is a four. I think I'll do them with six first. So I'm going to go half in the dark and half in the light. And put some one stroke. I'll save, I'll do a few in the littler size too, maybe. So I'm double loading my brush so that I have dark paint on one side and light paint on the other. And then it kind of makes it look like a two-tone. 
Hmm. I don't know guys, it's not making me feel much better. Sort of. Alright, let's not give up yet. Let's not give up hope. Alright, so with one stroke you kind of put the brush down and you pick it up on the, like you pick up on the tip so that you can get that um, leaf shape. I like it better having that around there, but I'm not positive I love it. So that's going to happen. You know, I mean... You're not always going to love it, I guess. Um, I'll do a few smaller ones, too. You probably won't see them as well on the... Oh, yeah, you see them. Just fine, I guess. I think that helped. I gotta put a few over here or whatever. All right, I think it helped. They're just starting to come, right? We don't want to put too many because, and then I maybe could put a few blossoms, like maybe some white flowers, like if I use this and put white paint. I could probably just paint them or use dip dots or something. All right. I think that makes me feel better. I got to put his eye on, but you know what? Let's float. I'm going to use my new brush again. And let's I'm going to use burnt sienna. I love burnt sienna. I don't know why. It's like my favorite brown to do the orange. I got to make room on my palette. So I'm going to corner load an angle brush. So I blot it. I put paint on this pointy corner. And then I blend it into the bristles so that it goes from dark to medium to to water basically and if there's too much water I blot but I actually like a lot of water because I can go forever so let me think um, I'm gonna put this down each side I guess it's not gonna look very orange because the way I float is so strong such strong color I'm going to go up both sides of that, but you have to kind of let it dry in between. I don't want to take off what I just put down, so I just go do another area, and then I'll come back when it's a bit more dry. And you can tell it's dry because the shine will go away. The, the wetness will go away. Acrylic paint dries super fast, so... Um... starts to come together though, right? Okay, now I can go up this other side. And doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll highlight the other parts. So for the pink, I guess I could just use fuchsia. I wonder what this red would look like. I think I want to stick with I'm going to stick with this. I want it to be pink. 
tad darker. Again, water blot on my paper towel, corner load it into that pink, and then blend it into the bristles. I have a lot of water. This brush is the new brush that I got, the Faux Squirrel by Dynasty, and it is, it really holds a lot of water, so I'm very, very happy about that. I think I'll go up the center. Mm. Hmm. I guess I'll go on these two, too. This, oops, I went into the wrong color. It's just not making me as happy. I, maybe I'm tired. I don't know. Sometimes it just makes me happy. Um, I know it looks a little stripey. I'm not really thrilled about that. And it could be my my choice of color because I'm not that used to designing when it comes to color, picking my colors, my shading colors. Maybe it should have been a totally different um, color. So, you know, I'll keep playing and see if I figure it out. Uh, I could definitely highlight too, so we'll get back to it. I'm going to go do, let's do a little burnt sienna on his beak since I have it out. Just a little bit right here. That's kind of dark. I'm a heavy hand. Where's my mop brush? Do, 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 do. It's right here. Um, and I was going to use this. Mendicino, which is not red. I really want to use like chocolate cherry. And I don't think I have it right here. Ah, oh, Napa. I'm going to use Napa. It's just a little bit more burgundy. And I'll just put in his little, his little arm again. I'm just going to float around that and hope for the best. I don't think this was the type of cardinal that was someone had, I can't remember who said, to paint a cardinal. It's not a very realistic cardinal, but he's, he's good. See, this is still very burgundy, though. It's called Napa. So let's see. It's not as um, brown as I'd hoped. But I'm going to go here. Here. Underneath his wing. Mm. I think that definitely made him pop. He needs an eyeball, right? Let's do some on the tail. Um, I think I'll do the bottom edge and a little bit right here. I can also just like make some little
something like that, right? And I should definitely highlight, but I should shade his wing too. Maybe do that to the edges down here. Something like that, right? That looks cool. And I could do it down here too. It's my bird. I think it should be darkened. I should probably use a little soft black. Just a little bit. And a smaller brush because that way it'll stay super, super um, up against the... Yeah, I want to do one more thing too before I get into that. On the... Um, my desk, it's, everything starts to close in on me. Um, I want to do this pink again. Uh, what did I use? Yeah, pink. I want to see if I can get this a little... Yeah, it didn't really help, did it? That helped. That made it look a little less um, liney. I should probably do it in the middle to like I think that's better. And maybe a little bit more of this here. I lost the orange. It kind of turned brown. Whoops. Okay. Kind of turned a little browner than I'd hoped. So I'll try to. Do I have a fluorescent orange? Um, I don't think so. Oh, oh, wait. Yes, I think I do. A neon. Aha. So I have that, and I'm pretty sure I have a neon red. So I'm going to use those. I don't know if the pink, you know what I have in pink is a glitter pink. Where is it? Yes. So maybe I'll do that and it'll make me happy. Um, I'm going to darken now with the, where did I put it? Soft black. Did I put it out already? And a littler flat, I mean, sorry, angle brush. I think it's just going to make him, this doesn't look like it. This looks like regular black. I want to use soft black. This is more of a black brown, so it's not stark, stark black. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shade the, um, cardinal just like I did with the red but I'm going to try and keep it really tight up against the line where I want it see that just made it pop more right made it stand out his little wing and then I'll do a little bit down the back of his tail and I kind of want to do it um, I think that's good. Now you can see like a difference in um, tone and all that stuff. So I think I'm happy. And then I'm going to highlight it. It needs an eye. I'm just putting the eye on last because I don't want to mess it up. Um, I don't know if I'm loving the pink shading. Maybe I should use the Mendicino. I mean it looks like a pink umbrella, right? Where's the smaller, here's my smaller leaf color. Let me put a few tiny little leaves. 
So half the light green, half the dark green, blend it into my brush. And I'll just put a few little ones. Oops. Okay. And I think I'll outline this with my new Tracy Moreau suggested gel pen uh, because it's a very fine line. And I'm going to see if that makes me feel better too because it always helps to outline stuff. Now I'm getting a little, it's getting too many leaves, you know. That's the thing, I didn't want it to get, like the trees are already bloomed, I want them to be just starting, but because it's spring, I stuck my finger in it. But I think it looks better with a few more. And when I outline it, it'll be better. So there's some here. And then I'm going to put a couple little blossoms. I could use a little... Well, what I'm really tempted to just use that little stamp I had because it just would make it so easy for me to just go boop, 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 boop. But I could paint them on. Alright, look. Here's the little pen. This is a Uniball Signo DX .38 millimeter gel pen. So I'm just going to outline these leaves even though I just and I'm just going to kind of be sketchy. Like kind of fast. I'm not going to I'm trying not to be too purposeful. Like just let it be loose. And um, so I don't have to be right on target with it. The, the leaf can be a little not filled in right, you know what I mean? But I think this is making me feel better. It really is. It just needed something. Um, at the edges because it just it was too blank can you see that and you could go around them more times if you want um, and make it as sketchy as you like I think that makes it look cool That was wet. I just painted that one, so that's why. So even if you're not good at one stroke leaves, you can fix it with your line work, you know? You can give it that point. Oops, I'm digging too hard. See how I, I dug a hole? Just gently. This pen really, really is good because it doesn't, it will roll right over the surface, so it is a good Mixed media pen. Another thing Tracy recommended. I have so much stuff in my way. But look, you can see that writing where I stamped the um, script writing. So now I can totally see that. I think it's a good detail. So all the little things will poke through now. I think I might use my other pen too. That is very subtle. Um, he needs an eye. I'm going to use white and just dab it on. Let it dry and then I'll give him um, I 
don't even know if they really have hairdos like that. I don't know. But he's cute, right? Um, I think I'm going to do... I want to use my... A little bit... Um, thicker lines for the umbrella. I don't know why. We'll see how it looks. But I'm going to outline... And you can get this off if it if you you know go too out of lines or something really happens that you hate you can wipe it off but I'm trying to be kind of sketchy and not perfect and so much I'm trying to stay in the shot but I know when I'm zoomed in that's not always gonna happen before you outline, you should be done all your painting, and there's no guarantee that I am because I might see something and think I want to fix it, and then I go in and um, smudge things. But I think that made that pop. I'm going to have to outline my birdie, too. I'm going to use the darker pen, I think. That didn't come together, did it? Well, I'll fix it. Um, I think I'll outline his little face, too. And his wing. That was messy, but whatever. Definitely think we have to do a few little blooms of some type, and I'm thinking white. Um, I don't know that I'm thrilled about. I think I want to just go around the um, whole thing of the umbrella or something. I don't know. It's making me like just right here, maybe. Let me see. Sorry, guys. And I just outlined it, so this is probably going to all smudge. I just don't think that was dark enough. I gotta go along that outside edge with the burnt sienna too. Oh, and I never highlighted. That's what I need to do. So I'm gonna shake up this neon's fiery red and just put a little bit on my bird. And then I'll do the neon's orange and see what happens there. With my little brush. It's really good to have a nice filbert in your brush stash because they make really nice, um, that's this little rounded guy that I just made the leaves with. I'm so happy I had those. Nothing worse than having um, crappy brushes when you need them. Okay, let's add a little pop of brightness to our birdie. Let's see if this really pops. We'll come in a tiny bit.
once again, I probably shouldn't have outlined until I was finished painting because I definitely just got um, a little black on my uh, brush. Look how popping that is. Oh my god. All right, let's do it to the pink and see if it's too weird. Because it's not, eh, it's good. It's kind of a cross between, I think it's good. I think it makes it look um, poppy. Okay, let me do the orange. Let's see what that looks like. This should really, oh, nothing. That was anticlimactic. Just because the hot shots is good doesn't mean this one will be good. I thought it would be. Yeah, it kind of brightened it up, right? Let me put a little on his beak, maybe. Um, I think we're good. I gotta fix his eye. What else could I do? All right, the little flowers, right? Now, of course, I can't find my little stamp. The stamp I was, oh, here it is. So it doesn't have, I think it's gonna be good if I put it on with, um, it's kinda big. I think they have to be tiny little, like, I don't even want them to be, I'm gonna use a, a liner brush or something and just make them very, bloppy like just even like three petals you know not um all right and i think i will do white 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 and just put them here and there like about maybe i don't know I guess they're going to need little centers, too. If I do five petals and then put a little, like, orange center or something. I'm trying to be really sloppy. Like, I'm not trying to be neat at all. But I don't think it's... I think they're kind of um, not showing up the way I'd hoped, but... See, there's a lot of white in there. That's why I got to put them where the darker blue is. I think they'll show up on the green better. Definitely going to show up on the green. I mean, you can see them, but... Like, right, I'd like to put them out on the fringes, kind of, but. I'm just making dots. I'm really not trying hard to make these look at all realistic. Just little blobs of color. And I think it did. I think it added something. Look, I made a big fat one. I'll put a little dip dot, like, with a stylus, kind of near the middle of it. Look, it'll show up right there, because that's nice and dark. Um, all right, guys, I think I can be happy now, though. For some reason... Once I get it shaded, I think I can be happy. I mean, it it is what it is, and it's not it's not it's not horrible. It's kind of neat. Being super sloppy, but 
instead of clouds. I think that accomplished what I need to accomplish. And I could just put more spriggles coming up. I call them spriggles whenever I make little twigs. But there could be... And I should probably put, um, um, maybe a couple of purple. See, there's purple up there. That would, I don't know. Anyway, all right. Let's make his eye. He has to have, I'm going to use paint and that liner or, well, where is it? I don't see. I was just using it, wasn't I? The rigor. I'm going to use black paint and just make a little eyeball. I think that looks cute. I don't think it looks realistic, guys. But let's put a little dip dot of yellow with a stylus because a stylus makes a nice round dot. And I think yellow would look good. It's not, it's kind of dried up. But I'm just going to take it and make a dot, one dot, where I made those little white clusters. See how I turn the piece though? I always turn the piece. I never, oopsie, it's a little blop. Um, yeah, don't break your wrist trying to reach something or get, get a good angle. Turn the piece so it's fun. Sometimes I've worked on like really big pieces though when it's like a big either door crown or something. <laughs> That looks springy, doesn't it? I don't know. My umbrella is still bugging me. I think I need to put stripes. I'm going to put stripes on it. So I'm going to take the rigger again. And I'm going to take that berry color. I could do polka dots. I think I'll do stripes on, the, on this one. Which way should I do them? I think I want to make them go um, up and down. So I'll start in the middle. And they can be kind of like, they don't have to be, um, they can be skippy. You know what I mean? Like they don't have to be totally perfect. And then I think I'm going to maybe polka dots, or what should I do? Should I make stripes or polka dots? It needed something. And like on the handle, I can just go like make cross hatching lines. You know, just to give it some personality and some little, like, oopsie, he didn't mean to go right into the handle. Some little, um, maybe they're like wood grain lines on the handle. And then, I think I will do like polka dots. I'm a little too, um, I don't know. I just felt like it needed something. And then what color should I color them in? Like a really light yellow. Yeah, I'm going to make them yellow. Uh, I guess the rigor. You're my guy. You're my go-to right now. Oh, 
orange. They were supposed to be orange, but I ended up making them yellow. Maybe I should have made them orange. I should have brought the orange back, but it was never that orange. All right, we're going yellow. The, the paint is gloppy. It's old. It's been sitting here, so I should have gotten a, clean, a, a fresher puddle. Because I, you know, you're honestly, it's laziness, and you're just, I'm not going to be able to get a good result. You know, you should have put out the good paint if I want to make a good circle. But I'm just blopping it on there. Can you tell I'm getting tired? Can you hear it in my voice? Add a little water to it. That'll make it slipperier. More slippery. But I like that. That made it cute, right? I don't think it would be on the inside. I mean, it might. And when it dries, I'll outline them better. Um, what else? I think I'm going to be done. He could have a little sparkle in his eye. So just a tiny bit of white. Like there. And I could highlight his little beak. And you could highlight everything like with the white too. But I think we're done. I think it turned out cute, you guys. It's cute, right? This looks a little empty over here. But I, I think we're good. I think I get carried away sometimes, don't I? <laughs> You think I need to put um, more line work on the, um, make the leaves a little darker? I think he's cute. I, I ended up liking it. The background is still a little busy. And then you can do this. Where's my other pen? Um, this one. I always do this on the grass. Kind of make little grassy marks. Uh, what else? Uh, I could sign it. If I knew how to spell my own name. And... I'm not going to write April. You could put a sentiment. April showers, you know. Um, but... I think it's done. This gel pen really is good. All right, I gotta put Kirby to bed. Did I stick my hands in the yellow? See, I do have yellow on me. So let me outline these. Um, let me just dry them and then we're done. take the pen and kind of go along that too. I don't know. It just, it might enhance it a little, make it more defined. And I'm just real, oops, there was one there I didn't paint. Get these suckers outlined. Uh, And that's it. I like him. I think he's cute. I hope you guys like it. Alright, that's it you guys. Thanks for watching.